Hi, Divine Feminine. Welcome back. I am Sister. Okay, let's go ahead and tap in and see what Spirit has for you. This is a general tarot reading. All right, so take what applies to your life and what doesn't, leave it on the table. Thank you for liking the video and thank you for joining the channel. If you have subscribed, okay? All right, thank you for all likes and all donations. I will be um opening that back up and showing you where you can donate if you like. All right, let's go ahead and tap in. Spirit, thank you for clear communication, divine protection. What's going on? Divine Feminine, okay, so I am feeling like in your past, with this Five of Wands energy, there could have been someone, you know, going up against you. Who's not doing this? If you're Divine Feminine, there's going to always be someone going up against you, okay? In the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like in your present energy, you have new money on the table for you. There could be some type of new opportunity entering your life, all right? Even if it's not money, there's some form of newness that is... um cultivating a sense of happiness for you right now it could be something about families like two two families coming together there could be a wedding that you're attending and you see old family and friends there um because of who's getting married or whatnot um there's something happening outside all right and, and it has to do with a celebration could very much so be at a cathedral a cathedral I heard cathedral. It could be somewhere outside, outdoors, with a lot of greenery, earth, energy, very present. All right. So a lot of outdoor uh, celebrations. For some of you all, this is like someone's graduation, someone's graduated college, or someone has some type of ceremony is present here. And you are a part of it. Either it's for you or you know the person associated with this. Okay, and so this is what, you know, you're worried and focused about right now in your life. You could be taking a trip to Florida, all right, somewhere where the beach is, where the water is, all right? In the future, I feel like someone wants to come in or, and restore some type of harmony to an emotional connection that they had with you, all right? Yeah, 13, so July 4th to the through the 13th expect some type of communication or a form of communication from someone that um you ended a connection with whether it be a friend who is a leo or a gemini or whether you be the limo leo limo Ooh, whether you be the leo or a gemini someone may be coming in in a limo for some of you all they could pull up in the suv you know and it has those limo tags in the back that lets you know that a celebrity or someone of a high social status is in the vehicle you can't see through it that's what I just seen and heard. So this message goes back to that message that talked about you being a star and um, someone of a celebrity status actually is. They got the eye on you, girl. And this could be dealing, dealing with me, too, because I felt a lot of telepathic communication coming in from someone who wanted to take me traveling overseas. OK, how you doing, daddy? <laughs> Patiently waiting, baby. All right. So, yeah, you could very much so be a Leo. You could be out in the cold. I mean, you could have left this person out in the cold. It could be a Scorpio or a Taurus that actually wants to come in and connect. It could be a Scorpio that wants to hand you some money, girl. Money back, money back, money back, okay? But it's not just about the money for this person. It's about the connection. They fuck with you. They fuck with your vibe and your energy, all right? And like I said, you could be a Leo or a Leo could be the one who crossed you or tried to cross you. All right, but it's like this person, you in the midst of them doing this shit, you caught on and you moved forward. This person could have been trying to cross you since 2016. You could have met this person in 2016, okay? There um there was some type of uh, dealings with a Scorpio or Aries that came into play. I believe maybe back in 2016, there could have been an Aries who had a tower moment dealing with you yeah especially if you're a scorpio it's like you put an end into this person's betrayal or whoever they thought they thought it was going to be in competition you put an ending to that all right and like i said if they're a scorpio they, they could be under judgment or they very much so just want to come in and offer you something to um restore some type of harmony within you all's connection if it's not to restore harmony it's to initiate harmony in your finances like like i said money bad money bad money bad somebody want to come in and give you 30 million 
I'm hearing 30 million. I'm hearing 30,000, 300,000. I really heard 30 million. I've been hearing and seeing that someone wants to give me 30 million. Okay, write down in the comments, someone wants to give me 30 million. And I had got that from um, Maji Got the Tea. I love her channel. Like, she's just so genuine. But I love how she'll say something and then she'll be like, write down in the comments because that's your way of affirming what she's saying. She's speaking life onto you. And that's such a beautiful blessing for someone who doesn't know you to do that so you know take heed to these tarot readers that really are genuine really are of the light really is trying to you know give you some free game all right versus someone just cranking out dramatic happenings or who or, or may not even be happening because this reading could resonate or not resonate you know that's how general it is but whoever this person is, overall, they feel very low, all right? Could be a masculine Gemini or a masculine Libra, okay? They feel very petty if they uh, had been putting you in competition tw since 2016 or that they did something that could um, affect the connection. Because like I said, this person now understands with all this major arcana on the table it's like this person understands their judgment is because of what happened between you two okay we got the numbers 19 20 16 so all of these i feel like all of these dates can be of significance the 13th the 16th the 19th and the 20th of july mark your calendars okay I feel like there's someone who's going to have a rebirth or a transitional period on the 13th that's going to allow them to come on in and realize that you are the one who is victorious and successful over whatever little competition they thought they had going on. And if this is not a secret competition that this person is now under judgment for and in the five of pentacles, they put themselves there. If this is not that, then like I said, there is someone of celebrity status. And celebrity could what could mean what it means to you, all right? Maybe a celebrity to you is an individual who owns two nightclubs, five nightclubs, a baseball field, and a leasing complex, okay, duplex, or a parking garage. Maybe that is a celebrity to you. It doesn't have to be someone who is a actor rapper dancer i want you to get out of that idea that it may be someone like that it could be someone who is an unknown someone who just has wealth and maybe not fame but they're still a celebrity in their own right because they're celebrating their energy every day they arise because they are abundant someone who is abundant is a celebrity to me because every day you wake up is a celebration. You're not living to survive. You're not struggling. You know what I'm saying? You're not in an energy of lack. And that is true nirvana. Whether it is physical or mental, that is true peace. All right? That is true heaven. When people say heaven or hell, that is a mental state within your mind. And you create it here on your, on your earth, in your physical world. Okay? Don't believe that cliche where people say, oh, you think you the world revolves around you? Yeah, it do. Your world does revolve around you. You better make it. If you don't make your world revolve around you, someone will make you make your world revolve around them. Okay? The narcissist empath duo. That's how that dynamic dynamic is created. Someone is too nice to put themselves first. And someone is too mean to not put themselves first want to put themselves and exalt themselves as, as if they are God or as if they're a gift from God when they're an actual demon and have been soul snatched, body snatched for years now. All right. And spirit just put that on my heart. This person could have been demon possessed since 2016. Soul snatched. Yeah. With this high priestess here. Okay. But this is the reading. Divine Feminine. All is well. Love and light. I'll share until next time. Bye. -bye.